Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today, we are taking a look at the brilliant agonizer from Kairas and Jacob, uh, Jacob Hack. Um, we're going to be looking at the Neon Nightmare pack in detail. Well, we're going to play some patches, but I'm going to go uh, and have a mess around with the Wobulator as well, because that's really good. And what I've also done is I've got two of them stacked. So two Wobulators uh, doing Wobulations all over the place. So very, very cool. So uh, the idea of this video basically give you an idea of how you can uh, get two of them to sound together. It's always a nice idea to stack synths. And because there's so much movement in Agonizer, because it's a bad man thing, uh, there's so much movement in Agonizer, uh, it, they sound great together. So here is, I've got this first, a second one turned down. Here is the first one. And it's the first patch in the uh, Neon Nightmare group. Which you can find if you go to browse, it's the one all the way down at the bottom. Now playing with the Wobulator, you'll have a lot of fun with this because you can drastically change the sound just by changing the waveforms. Okay, uh, and we've got it going forward, but you can have different directions all the way up to a random. So we could change that up to random. Cool stuff we can do with rates as well. So we can, I mean, that's quite a fast rate. So let's slow that down to say one eight. Let's uh, see if we can get these a, a little bit quicker. And then you can choose how many times that each one will, re will repeat for. And now we can blend in the second one. This very cool kind of sci-fi vibe going on. So let's have a look at the second one. And again, if we go into sorry, if we go into browse here, you'll see that I have chosen one from this pack. So let's go all the way down to the bottom. Let's try this transmites on this one. Let's go back to our browse. Let's say uh, turn our second air uh, first one down. <laughs> Again, very sci-fi-ish. So let's see what we can do. If we move certain things, are going to have modulation routings assigned to them. You can you can see what all those are here. But let's just uh, check maybe the filter cutoff. So by checking out what the uh, modulations are, and you can see we've already just added a bunch more of there. Uh, you can do some very cool stuff and get some very interesting stuff going on. We haven't even touched the wobulator on this one, so let's see. <laughs> We've got a random direction going on. Let's put that to. But the rates are really cool. We could we can let's see one sixteenth on all of these. 
Very fast, or we can go very slow on all of these as well. Oh, I like that. I'm going, I ain't gone a minute. Let's do something with the delay. So what have we got on the mat? Let's just click on the mat. So uh, maybe the crush was a bit much, I think. So cool. So we know we've got that sound there. Let's go. And... That is that. That's pretty sci-fi-ish. But let's change the patch, shall we? Let's see what we've got going on in our neon nightmare pack. So maybe this one. See, the thing is, they're all very, very good. But don't forget it's a bass synth, so they're going to sound best. I mean, you can use them as leads if you want to, but... It's like Jacob said, you know, the, the design was for bass. And that's where they shine. Although they, oh, this is quite nice. This is actually a lead. That might sound really nice, actually. We don't want to... Let's go. So we've got a little bit of modulation now for... really nice let's see what it sounds like when we blend it with this one Very, very cool. Okay, let's repatch this one. Let's try What's this one. Brilliant.
Jones. <lacht> Like, some just awesome stuff in here. Let's just check out. Stop that a sec. What's this crap sacked? There's a hundred patches in the Neon Nightmare pack, so it is well, well worth the money. Oh, let's see what we can do with that, shall we? Let's go and... So we know that, that that one was the last one in the pack, so we can go back. So what it might be a good idea if you were use if you were going to use this you could um sequence this the hats but we could see what I want to see All right nice because you can get different patterns going on and of course Actually, let's put a bit of delay on as well. That might be quite cool. With this one, I'd rather find something that sustains, like like that, but more bassy. This. And on guys thanks very much for watching that some of the cool stuff you can do by stacking two agonizers you can st I mean, you can stack any synth you like you know but with agonizer because it's it's basically a bass synth and it has a lot of movement and the wobulator is just it's phenomenally good fun apart from being super cool and super useful especially if you're into things like dubstep and anything like that you know <laughs> 
It's just awesome stuff. The rate on this one down. Also, as well, I should point out that putting it onto key is a nice way to set up a uh, wobulator. Because pressing the key will advance. I set that onto three, didn't I? It's almost like a drum. Oh, oh, it's too cool. Guys, thanks very much. Uh, well, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. And all that other cool stuff you could do to help support me and Joe. If you can't do any of that and you feel like making a one-off donation, there's links in the description for all this stuff. Anyway, bless you all. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Wobulator from Kai Rash, Numerical Audio, and our friend Jacob. Okie dokie. Brilliant. Top job. Cool beans. ta -da.